In this lesson, we'll focus on completing the kitchen wall cabinets. Then in the next video, we'll change a few things in the kitchen, modify walls, change the window position, and so on. The first thing we need to do is scroll down in our tool palette and go to our content browser. Select Design Tool Catalog Imperial. Scroll down to Furnishings. Select Furnishings. Select Casework. I'm going to expand this window and we're going to go into the corner cabinets and select the wall cabinet 30 inches high for our corner and insert in the drawing. We will need two. You could copy the initial one or we could just simply place two. Select Escape. We're going to go back in, back up one, and bring out two 15 inch by 30 inch high wall cabinets. All the wall cabinets that are 30 inches high are in this link. 15 inches wide, select insert in the drawing. This one will go in this vicinity here, and another one here. Remember where this picks up is the back. And a left click and left click in our open screen. Select Escape. We're going to select now another 30 inch high wall cabinet that's 21 inches wide. Once again, in the previous video, you'll notice that all these cabinets are divisible by three, which is a standard in cabinet making for prefabricated cabinets. This 21 inch wide wall cabinet will go between the closet and the other wall cabinet, so we'll place it over here. Once again, escape. This is the back side of the cabinet, and this is the front. You can tell once again by where the grip is on the back. Same thing with the other cabinets on the back. We're going to select another 30 inch high wall cabinet, and that one will be 12 inches. And we'll put that one over here next to this wall cabinet. Go into wall cabinets, inserting the drawing. Left click. Escape. We'll position these and then bring in our last two wall cabinets, which are going to be different in height above the range in the refrigerator. These wall cabinets here, we need to rotate and fit them in the corner. As your previous wall or previous base cabinets, we're going to select rotate, select the cabinet, select enter, pick a base point, left click, and turn the cabinet. So the angle is facing the same as the base cabinets. Left click, back to home, rotate, select the base point, flick it around, left click. We do not have to hit the move. We can simply select the corner, click on the grip, and position the wall cabinet. There are reference lines at the bottom of the wall cabinets that put the position and the exact height that's necessary off the ground. You can see that in the previews. You'll see all the small little lines in the bottom. That's the floor line. Go back to our drawing. If you would like, you can view by means of looking at the 3D orbit. Click hold, escape, and you can see your wall cabinets. Click hold on the orbit, click hold on the screen, and you can see the wall cabinets are the correct height. You can see some of the modifications that will come already in the next video, such as the sink, the window height, and placement, and eventually the wall that's going to interfere with some of our cabinets. Go back up by the 3D orbit, select top view. Use the wheel mouse scroll closer, hold down the wheel mouse to pan. These wall cabinets, recall if we left click on them, this is the back side. If I go to home, I go to rotate, and I click, and I want to rotate this so the door is over here. If you're not sure, you can always go into the 3D orbit, select the 3D orbit, and you can see the door in the front here. These are facing to the right, so we need to flip the doors frontwise for this one, this one all the way around since it's going to face that way, and this one's okay. Back to a top view. Select this wall cabinet, back to home, rotate. This wall cabinet, home, rotate. 
This one's going to go all the way around. This one stays in its position. I'm going to left click, drag. Once again, it's going to interfere with the window, which we'll replace in or modify in the next video. Home. This time we're going to go to move since we don't have a spot to put this grip. We're going to select move. We're going to pick this corner in anticipation and left click here. Click on this wall cabinet, pick it up at the grip, and select here. And you can see it's even with the base cabinet. Once again, we'll move that wall. This wall cabinet, we're going to have to go back to the home after it's selected. Select Move, select this corner, and place that 12 inch, 30 inch high wall cabinet here. We need two more wall cabinets above the range and above the refrigerator. Let's look at our current design thus far. If we placed another 30 inch, it would be too close to the actual range and anything that's cooking on there may burn the bottom of the cabinet. You need a cabinet at least 30 inches away from the top of the range to the nearest part of the cabinet. In that case, we need an 18 inch high wall cabinet here. Fortunately, that will also fall into place and give us a little bit of space above our refrigerator if we put another 18 inch high wall cabinet here. Go back to a top view. Go back into your content browser. And we'll back up one page. And we'll select the 18 inch high wall cabinets right above the 30 inch. Left click. We're going to bring in first the 27 inch wide wall cabinet. And we're going to place it right in front of the range. Escape. Back to our content browser, and we're going to bring in a 30 inch wide cabinet and put it in front of our refrigerator. Escape. If I left click, go back to home, select move, pick it up at the corner, and place it right next to the 12 inch wide cabinet. Left click. Back to home, move, left click in the upper left corner, and place it next to 27 inch wide cabinet. Once again, in our next video, we'll move our components around as necessary to line everything up. This completes this lesson of positioning the wall cabinets.